Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochi Nandan Dutta and in this video lecture, I'll talk about the biodiversity. So in my previous lecture on marine ecology research, I have talked about the population ecology and the population interaction and this uh, lecture I'll talk about on uh, the biodiversity. So this is basically introductory lecture, the basic concept of biodiversity. So it's just basic introduction uh, to biodiversity. So first we have to know what is biodiversity. So it's bio and diversity. What does it be? Bio means bio means life and diversity means variety. So biodiversity basically means the variety of life. So variety of life on earth and the essential interdependence of all living things. So that is the definition of biodiversity. So there is lots of definition according to time to time. The definition is changing, but the basic, the basic, very simple definition is the variety of life on Earth and the essential they are interdependent. So one biological means all the biological diversity they are interdependent of all the living things. So about uh, biodiversity, if we look at uh, the number of the species or the biological diversity, the total amount almost 50 million species of microbes, flora, fauna existing in the world. Okay, so if you see the taxonomic classification, then uh, that uh, five kingdom classification you can check. And uh, so basically, the 15 million species are existing in this world. Okay, in this living world, but we know we know only two million species are identified. Okay, two million. So almost 98 percent is not. Uh, we we don't know that what about the 96, 95 percent species. We only know five or ten percent of the species. Okay, so that is the maximum number of species also till now unknown from the marine environment. If you go to the deep sea environment or deep uh, uh, marine environment in the benthic region, so there is a bicell or the hadal pelagic region, there will be basically the almost 90 percent species we don't know what happened inside the sea and also the land surface there is a lots lots of the unknown species is regularly day by day regularly new species are discovered from different parts of the world so we know only uh, 90 to 95 percent species we don't know about 90 to 95 we have already have uh, established or already identified only 5 to 10 percent of species it's, it's, it's a very less and so knowledge of biodiversity is very essential we'll we'll see the importance of biodiversity later on so knowledge of biodiversity is very essential for the sustainable use of natural resources or any kind of resources okay so that's why biodiversity is very important now the uh, biodiversity hotspot so throughout the world there is almost 36 biodiversity hotspots in the world so okay these are the different province and different zones so biodiversity hotspots it's basically considered based on the few criteria if this criteria is fulfilled then that particular region called as a biodiversity hotspot then main criteria is that that uh, the percentage of endemic species endemic species means that particular species species is uh, endemic or um, it resided or it can only found on that particular region so that species is called endemic species like uh, if you go uh, um, in Australia there you can find only the kangaroo so it's the, it's the endemic to uh, Australia it's nowhere else in the world you can find the kangaroo so that's if the endemicity percentage should be very high then the number of uh, species or the number of total vegetation area total uh, protected area so there will be lots of the lots of criteria to call that particular region it's a hot spot so that if that criteria fulfill that particular region called as a hot spot so according this particular all those criteria fulfill 36 biodiversity hot spot present in and now in the world okay and uh, there is also called a mega biodiversity country that is also the same thing in the world there is almost 17 mega biodiversity country so that country could called as a mega biodiversity country where the endemics percentage species percentage is much more high 
the uh, total forest coverage, the, the number of species and their uh, total densities, everything should be much more high. So then uh, there is also lots of criteria to call as a particular country as a mega biodiversity country. If this fulfill all the criteria, then the country could as a uh, called as a mega biodiversity. According to this, there is 17 mega biodiversity country in the world like USA, Mexico, Colombia, Equity, Peru, Venezuela, Brazil. Congo, South Africa, Madagascar, India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Papua New Guinea, China and Australia. So these are the all 17 mega biodiversity countries. Now level of biodiversity. So level of biodiversity, it's, there will be three levels. One is the genetic diversity, one is the species diversity and one is the ecosystem diversity. So it's nothing. So this is a kind of thing one, two and three. Okay. So genetic diversity means it's nothing of a particular species. Of a particular species, you can find different types of variety variety kind of so variety of the genetic material within a particular species okay so in the of a population of community that is called a genetic diversity it's a very common example that you can find a cow cow is a particular species that the boss indica okay so that boss indicas have a different breed variety okay like jerseys they are saiwal they are so different varieties of cow breeds are there so they are basically single species box indica but they are different genetical variety so that is called the genetical diversity okay then the species diversity species diversity how much number of species are there okay so species diversity the number of different species present in an ecosystem okay and the relative abundance of each of the species so diversity is greatest when all the species present are equal abundance in an area so it is a very simple species diversity so number of species is much more than the species diversity is very high and also also their the number of individual also their abundance also very high okay, that can be you can call that particular in a area that how many number of species are there just a very simple example in a core ecosystem you can find different types of species, species okay so that's the fish species that is called a species diversity in a forest you can find different types of bird species okay so that is a basically a species diversity then third one is the ecosystem diversity ecosystem diversity is a much more larger term so so that's why i am uh, telling here so that is a genetical diversity it's a much more uh, concise on a particular species then the species diversity it's how many number of species are there and then the ecosystem diversity means in a particular region how many types of different ecosystems are there so variety variation in the ecosystem found in a region okay and variation of ecosystem is basically in the whole planet so there will be different ecosystem it could be a desert ecosystem it could be a forest ecosystem it could be a marine ecosystem so that are uh, the uh, called as a ecosystem diversity so this all uh, about the level of biodiversity now talk about the scale of biodiversity scale of biodiversity so we have basically the three types of biodiversity scale so that is also alpha beta and the gamma so alpha diversity is very very simple and it's within a particular community okay or particular habitat so average species diversity in a habitat or the Pacific area. So it's a particular a species specific means it's a, a regional or a, a special variation. Okay. So uh, average of species diversity in a particular area or habitat of the or a local community. So alpha diversity is basically a local measurement. Okay. It's a basically a local measurement you can see. So in a particular area the uh, diversity of the species okay so that's why called uh, alpha diversity then beta diversity is nothing but the in two alpha diversity or in two community diversity the interaction okay so changes in the species composition between uh, the distinct two communities so this is one community this is one community in this two community what are the changes in the species diversity okay in the species composition so that is called a beta diversity so change in the species composition between the two distinct community so that is a called a beta diversity and then the last one is the gamma diversity is the larger one so gamma diversity basically the total diversity of a landscape total diversity of a landscape in this landscape total diversity means alpha plus beta is equal to gamma 
okay so it's a combination uh, both alpha and beta diversity so gamma diversity is much more a larger concept now uh, talk about the measurement of biodiversity so i have just introduced the species uh, different species uh, diversity indices here and uh, regarding this uh, species measurement of uh, biodiversity or the techniques okay okay and the sampling techniques and the different methods we will talk uh, in a separate video later on so here i just talk about the uh, basic uh, species diversity indices so this is the sanon winner diversity indices then Simpson diversity indices, then Markov species richness indices, and Pelouse evenness. Okay, so species uh, diversity, richness, and evenness. So this is the three, four. Uh, there will be all others uh, or different types of indices are there, but these are the four very common used in uh, biodiversity measurement. Okay, so Shannon Winner diversity is a very simple that if if you are using any uh, any quadrate or any kind of different sampling technique, so in this sampling you have uh, to know the total number of species and each 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 individual or each species the total number of that particular species so that is uh, is, is synonym in diversity is very simple h bar is equal to minus sum of ni by n ni, ni means that uh, total number of individual of a particular species okay and n is the total number of individual okay in that in that particular region so in that particular region if you have the x is the 5 the y is the 3 then z is the 7 so then you can calculate so for this calculation and this measurement technique we will talk in the few in the later on video that will be explained very well with example also okay and the simpson uh, diversity index it's basically uh, the uh, how uh, the dominance uh, of the diversity indices so it's a uh, simpson d so that d is basically one minus sum of n minus n the whole square n minus means number of individual of a particular species and in the total number of the uh, individual of all species okay so that is uh, Simpson diversity indices. Then Markel of richness index. From these indices, you can estimate that how much rich your habitat, okay? How much rich your in terms of species richness, okay? So that's a very simple uh, Markel of uh, richness index. The equation is the S minus one. S is the total number of species. How many? There will be 10 species, okay? So 10 minus one by ln of n. Total number of individual of the, in this 10 species, there will be all, maybe be 100 so each pieces have 10 10 10 okay so total number and ln is the basically natural logarithm so natural logarithm total uh, and n is the total number of individual in the sample okay so that is a very simple equation and you can estimate the richness how your area or your uh, particular region is how rich in species diversity then the evenness index evenness index means how uh, the species diversity is even or uneven okay so that uh, much more even uh, index means uh, and that evenness index basically related it's coming from the Sanon winner so, so so evenness index is a very simple equation Sanon winner index by ln of s total number species okay so it is a very simple so yeah, from this uh, normally you can uh, calculate uh, the evenness index so we'll talk uh, later on uh, about uh, more about on this indices so here the next uh, lecture is more uh, this slide is basically importance of biodiversity so there is a lots lots of the importance of biodiversity we cannot fit all the uh, means importance of biodiversity in a single slide but i try to fit few of them so biodiversity is basically very much productive it consumptive and indirect issues so productive means uh, any kind of production is basically coming from the uh, biological diversity so whatever the productivity of this planet of that coming from the biodiversity then consumptive means whatever we are consume whatever we are consume that are also coming from the biological diversity so it could be a pharmaceutical industry or any kind of industry the raw material everything is coming from the biological diversity 
or indirect use it could be assertive value it could be spiritual value it could be education all so it's all are the indirect use of the biodiversity okay so that basically three main uses of biodiversity is a productive consumptive and indirect use okay and biodiversity is basically indicates a variation of a life forms and so there are diverse life forms and that is basically coming from the biodiversity and the functional of global climate okay so biological diversity it is basically helping you uh, like the uh, different habitats and the different uh, uh, ecosystem diversity or ecosystem is helping to uh, maintain the global climate just like a simple example is the amazon rainforest it's basically a controller of the global climate okay then the health of the ecosystem if if the biological diversity is much more of the particular re region then the health of the ecosystem of the particular region is much high okay so health of the ecosystem is a basically indicator of the high biodiversity high biodiversity high ecosystem health okay and they provide various type of services like the water purification as we have already talked about water purification in the wetland ecosystem or in the mangrove ecosystem so wetland is a also called as a uh, kindy of the ecosystem and the mangrove forest or mangrove tree they are also absorbing the heavy metal so they are basically act as a water purifier and the prevention of soil so plants uh, they are holding the uh, uh, soil through their root just like, just like example of the mango forest they are much more um, so productive much more active in holding the soil so it's uh, preventing the soil erosion and water uh, air quality uh, maintain and purification the plants are doing the this work very well and the maintenance of seasonal climate global climate is i have just uh, talked about it the global climate is uh, maintained by the different ecosystem and different biological diversity like the amazon forest is a uh, climate uh, um, and, uh, key role play in the climate global climate then the recycling nutrient all the nutrient recycling it could be carbon cycle it could be phosphorus cycle nitrogen cycle everywhere you can find the biological diversity without the biological diversity or the bad species or anything that uh, nutrient cycle could not be completed okay and the agriculture so agriculture is basically the source of the human food okay source of the human food so without agriculture the world uh, means cannot exist okay we cannot exist so agriculture is a uh, very important to us but agriculture also also uh, hold a huge biological diversity is uh, in terms of agriculture different uh, uh, crop species that is also very good example of the uh, genetical diversity different varieties of rice so that's also called uh, means example of the genetical diversity so agriculture hold a huge biological diversity and uh, act as a house of germ plasm okay so holding the gen genetic diversity or, or the germ plasm that is also uh, the importance of biodiversity and the non material use we have already talked about it it's a indirect use of biodiversity aesthetic value the spiritual value education knowledge research everything is basically coming from on based on the biological diversity next is the pharmaceutical industry whatever raw material are coming for the pharmaceutical industry is basically coming from the biological product okay so that is a huge importance of the biodiversity and the indigenous knowledge of biodiversity that's a different issue and indigenous knowledge of biological diversity that is also very important okay and the uh, security of different resources it could be water security food security paper paper whatever whatever resources we are taking that basically coming from a biological source now the threat so there will be huge roles of biodiversity in in the world and but the the biological diversity has uh, much more uh, threatened okay so threatened so that is that uh, there will lots of the threats and um, but we are uh, focusing on the key threats of the biological diversity uh, that's in recent times so that's are uh, the habitat destruction so due to the huge development the construction everything human development and whatever it is and due to the development we are distracting all the habitats different habitats so we are cutting the forest we are destroying the mangrove ecosystem we are destroying the coral ecosystem so everything we are destroying so habitat destruction and much more the threats are the anthropogenic rather than the natural natural threats is there also but still the anthropogenic threats are much more so habitat destruction then over exploitation we are exploit whatever we want so we we are exploited in an unsustainable way so that 
over exploitation is also biggest threat to our biological diversity then the habitat fragmentation what do we do there will be huge forest fragmentation and then we are making roads within the forest we are making the construction in the, in the forest we are making a village or the town within the cons uh, within this uh, forest so these are the fragmented so this is fragmented this is fragmented this is fragmented and that is a key role play a big role to destructive of biological diversity that is the also the key role of the habitat fragmentation that the human animal conflict okay so that these are the different issues uh, and the pollution pollution is always always a biggest threat uh, to any kind of biological product okay or any kind of biological diversity and the global climate change it's a nowadays it's a key issue and uh, no need to talk about it so climate change is due uh, to climate change everything is changing from the habitat to the physical uh, variety so everything is changing and it's uh, threatening uh, the uh, global biological that is just a very simple example i'm telling you that uh, if you look at the two sensitive species the one is the frog amphibia amphibia is a very sensitive species okay and that species uh, and also the coral okay these two according to time the coral and the amphibia they are declining a high rate highest rate is the coral and then the amphibia so these two species due to the global climate change you if radiation is increasing climate change is increasing temperature is increasing sea surface then the coral reef is a degree different reasons okay so that uh, very good example the uh, amphibian population and the coral reef ecosystem are degrading a lot on the effect impact on the global climate change then the invasive species introduce of any invasive species that also uh, devastatingly uh, low down the natural or uh, the local biological diversity okay so these are the biggest uh, threats of of the of biological diversity but there are lots 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 of the threats are there and uh, so that's why we need uh, to manage uh, our biological diversity and that uh, it could be possible in terms of conservation okay so the conservation of biological diversity uh, in a sustainable use of its and component and the fair and equitable sharing equitable sharing it should be rich to everyone in equitable sharing and benefits whatever we are taking benefits and utilizing of the genetical resources that is most important okay we are taking the whatever we want but use the genetic resources much more as so making the uh, that is the utilization of genetic resources so that is the way that we can manage uh, our biological diversity in terms of conservation so biodiversity is a common concern of the human kind and we are taking a lot from the biological diversity and it is an also integral part Part for the development processes. So, if we want to uh, develop a lot, then we have to also consider the biological diversity uh, also. So, it should be a sustainable way. So, that's why the conservation. So, conservation is the management of nature and natural resources on the earth of biodiversity with the aim of the protecting species their habitat and the ecosystem so it should be a approach a multidisciplinary approach uh, that uh, should be protect the species not only the species it should be protect the particular habitat of their habitat and also the whole ecosystem and excess threat of extinction so extinction rate should be reduced and the erosion of biotic interaction so erosion and degradation of biotic interaction should be maintained okay so it's an interdisciplinary subject conservation and so drawing on the natural and social sciences and the practice of the natural resource management okay so managing of natural resources using the help of the science and technology so we are planning to manage our natural resources helping uh, the science and technology so that's a uh, resource management could be agriculture could be forest resource could be uh, fishery resource wildlife parks okay so that is one of the best approach uh, that uh, conservation of uh, the natural resources so basically in a single word the conservation means the keeping nature in our future so 
we have to keep our natural resources for our future generation so we have to take a sustainable way whatever we want we can take from the nature but in a sustainable way that's why that that thing could be exist in near future so our future generation could also take uh, the benefits or also take the uh, uh, flavor of that biological diversity in near future so that's all about it uh, thank you and i hope you understand uh, this lecture if you have any query just comment me thank you bye